It's the first really cold day in a long time. Look at the amount of ice on the side of this tent. that this machine would be better in the extreme cold. I don't know if it's because it was like minus 35, minus 36 overnight. This isn't good, I'm gonna give it another try. Okay, it's not happening. I don't know if that's gonna work, but uh... I think if I just leave it plugged in here for maybe like a half hour, sit in this warm truck, it's so cold out there that uh, this might do the trick. We are experiencing the first cold snap uh, this winter, which I'm really thankful for, but this is what happens, right? You start to run into problems. tracks going straight up to the tent. Very cold outside right now, and uh, I can really feel it. I can really feel the cold today. It's the first really cold day in a long time, and uh, it feels great, man. It feels amazing to finally have this. I've waited for so long. I'm just so thankful that it's this darn cold outside. I gotta get this wood stove going right away. Wow, he doesn't wanna do it. There we go, okay. That's gonna be a nice tool for starting fires in the winter and in the extreme cold. There's a crazy amount of steam in this tent right now. It's nuts. There's some snow coming down from the opening in the tent 
and uh, it's landing on the stove, creating an insane amount of steam. And the colder it is outside, the more pronounced something like this is, right? Like if it was only zero degrees or at the melting point or at the freezing point, I should say, it wouldn't be nearly this steamy, but because it's so cold, this is the effect that you get. You can see it's just steaming all around me like crazy. All of my stuff is freezing now. All of my food is turning to rock because it's minus 30 in here. It does not take long for things to freeze. So I really want to get the temperature up nice and fast because I don't want to be dealing with a bunch of frozen things like frozen pop and frozen mayonnaise and frozen potatoes. There's a lot of snow on top of the roof right now and I'm going to leave it there. It's going to provide all kinds of great insulation but at the end of the trip when I go back home I'm going to beat all the snow off so that way I'm not putting my tent at risk of getting ripped because snow is heavy man it's heavy stuff. Let's see if this propane is flowing. Nope. There's quite a bit of propane left in this canister, so I'm just gonna put it near the wood stove, let it get up to temperature. Okay, that made a difference. Amazing. It's about 20 degrees Celsius inside the tent, like right around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. That to me is perfect, right? That's a perfect temperature. Let's see what the temperature is on the floor. Currently minus 31 Celsius outside. That's like minus 23 or 24 Fahrenheit.
The outside of the tent is just covered in this ice now because it's so warm inside and it's so darn cold outside. You can see all the ice building right across the tent right here. I've learned that cooking french fries over really high heat over the propane stove is way more effective than trying to cook fries on the wood stove. The wood stove needs to be so hot to cook fries and uh, you just cook yourself out of the tent. Nice late night steak supper. Get some pepper on those fries. Get some salt. A little bit on the steak. Oh baby. Medium rare for sure. Maybe more on the rare side. Oh my gosh. That is sweet. Mmm. Look at the amount of ice on the side of this tent. Holy smokes, it's crazy. I like to pull the cot and sleeping bag close to the stove when it's so darn cold outside. I just have to do it. I need to be close to the heat. It's okay over here, but it can get really, really cold next to this wall. So I'm gonna bring the cot over and that will mean I'll have a nice, comfortable sleep. Another reason why I like being so close to the stove is that I don't have to get all the way out of bed when I'm loading it at like four in the morning. So I'm kind of close, I just kind of pop out, throw some more wood in, shut it down a bit, and I'm good to go. One of the most important things to do when loading the stove when it's so cold outside is making sure that you have a really nice solid bed of coals. That's what you need. A nice bed of coals, lay all your wood on top of the bed of coals, shut down your stove, and you'll have a nice simmer throughout the night.
Cove did an amazing job last night. Nice slow burn. It does a really good job. I have to say it does a really good job. No problems. And uh, I, uh, I think I had maybe like a six hour burn and then I reloaded it this morning before the sun came up and then I cranked it a bit and the temperature in the tent went way up like to 30 degrees Celsius. Up high, it was 30 degrees. Right here, oh, the warmth was right up against my back. It was amazing. It was amazing. Just like the stove just kind of like hugged me back to sleep. Oh, what a great feeling it was. I think there's a 0% chance this thing is starting. <laughs> Not a chance. Does anyone know the science behind this? This is something that I've noticed recently. When I'm melting pots of snow on the stove, the pot just goes crazy, man. It just goes da, da 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 And it'll do it pretty much until it's just water. This is like inches of ice. It's I left myself in a situation here. I decided I would leave the snow on for extra insulation because it's so cold. And in the end, it resulted in a mountain of ice all along the side of the tent. It's really, really thick. Like that's like two to three inches thick right there. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. Let's see. Oh, that's not good. I'm on a huge cheese whiz kick right now. Can't get enough. It's been years since I've had cheese whiz and now that I bought a bottle, I just wanna eat it all up. Mm. 
amazing. I think the battery is junk and I think the battery needs to be replaced. I've had this plugged in for almost two hours now and I'm getting an indication that the engine block is up to temperature. This light right here was yellow, then it started flashing green and now it's completely green. This is not good. It's getting dark out already. I gotta get back into town. And I'm sitting here with a dud. I don't wanna melt anything down here. But hopefully those coals will be warm enough to heat everything up in here. If I don't get her started soon, I'm walking. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Fingers crossed that did the trick. It's worked for me before. I don't know. I have another trick if that one doesn't work. But here goes. Oh, he wanted to start. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Boil water on a battery. Works every time. Works every time. Wow. All right, that's it for this video. I'm going home. It's late enough. That was a great little adventure at the end there. I love testing myself, and that was a good little test. That battery has got to go. It is no good. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. I had a great time. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back really soon.